Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel so today we're going to be doing yet another NPC walkthrough so today I thought we would do patches it's a pretty short one but it's a pretty cool and important one in the game okay so let's get started the first thing we want to do is actually nothing to do with patches the first thing we want to do is in the undead settlement we want to do a uh, sig wards part of uh, the first part of sig wards quest which uh, if you don't know how to do it it's just on this elevator uh, take it up Jump off halfway up the elevator and uh, kill the fiery beast alongside Seek Ward. Uh, once you've done that, um, that will kind of activate us having the possibility to have patches in the game. So we're going to continue through the game until we get to Cathedral Deep. And after opening the second big door, which is the second entrance, uh, what we're going to do is uh, refresh the map, uh, either travel or just turn the game on and off or whatever you prefer. And from this big door, from the big entrance, the one what leads to the graveyard, the one we open from the inside, which is the second one, we're going to come in and head to our right and uh, we will see somebody dressed up as Sigward, which is actually Patches, as you probably already know. Uh, but anyway, I know there's a lot of people that's having trouble with having him spawn in and basically you've got to have uh, Sigward's part of the quest done. You've got to uh, open both big doors and you have to refresh the map after you've done that. And he should appear. Anyway, uh, we're just going to listen to him and uh, walk across the bridge. And he'll try and trap us down. He'll uh, take us down to where the giant is. Uh, if you did happen to kill the giant beforehand, he will have some extra dialogue, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so uh, the next thing we want to do is actually go and find him again. And to do that, we have to go to the other side of that bridge. So to do that, uh, we're going to come to the uh, bonfire, the cathedral bonfire. And we're going to take the second door we opened. And as soon as we go through here, we're going to take this elevator up and we're going to come to this tower. So instead of jumping off the tower, we're actually going to uh, circle around it. And uh, we are going to find this hand ladder. So we'll climb up the hand ladder and continue this path just keep going up and eventually you will be able to go inside uh, so we're going to come over here sticking to our right uh, along these beams uh, kill this guy uh, if you want and just hop down to his left and there should be a platform kind of a stairs a staircase so just jump on that and in this area uh, patches will be there so um, what we want to do here uh, is just talk to him go ahead uh, you can buy seek wards armor if you're doing seek wards quest and all that but I did that in a different video so yeah so you just want to talk to him here and uh, say uh, let him say sorry and say it's okay or whatever so the next time we meet him uh, we are going to go back to uh, Firelink and what we're going to do if we haven't done it already in the from the merchant we're going to get the tower key so uh, just buy that for 20k and we're going to go and open the tower that's over here near Firelink and head up and head up to where the elevator is and as soon as we hop on the elevator he's going to lock the door behind us or well, that is like what activates it you have to go up the elevator so when we come back down the elevator he will uh, have trapped us in here so uh, to get out of here we could just use a homeward boner obviously but um, what we're going to do is we can jump down the side here doing a bit of parkour just be careful you can get the fire keeper set and all that from here too and also this will open the door behind the Yuji Katana guy so yeah, so um, now just go up to the right part of Firelink at the top uh, instead of heading out to where the tree is, what gives us the seeds, just continue up there and we'll find him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just um, let him apologize. He will now be a merchant in Firelink. Uh, also, he will kind of um, have something to do with Grey Rat, but I'm going to cover that part uh, once, once we do Grey Rat's NPC walkthrough. So yeah guys, this has been Patches. Uh, if this was helpful, please go like and subscribe if you're not already. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can support me more directly on Patreon, which is much appreciated. Check out my Teespring campaign if you're interested in t-shirts, and we'll see you next time, guys. Where to go from here is clear, I'm on my own, yet I still feel off the chain like stolen bicycles. It was drilled in my head that I'm a selfish fuck, that I get on my own nerves when I talk too much. Told that I live my life disconnected and empty, with a smile that's insane as if I'm overly friendly. So do what you will, I'm still here and I won't leave, but look at how mean you can be that it's so sweet. Run for the hills, I'm as ill as your whole team. Drove off a cliff and I landed on both feet. Will I admit that I'm done with the old me? The dirtier it gets, the more I'm feeling I'm so clean. That I don't need Molly to be rolling with these changes, I'm at the line. Library in a quiet meditation Damn, people look pissed off and too abrasive With lots of personality and no conversation An epic name is who inspired me to think And I've hit the home run, I'm just rounding all the bases I'm skydiving into your world Designed to fire flying up from the earth Will not be defeated Hell is for freezing Scream till it's peaceful It's walking on beaches Laugh at how dark it can get in this place As if you're eating the soul of a demon for strength